do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends we have studied that there are various types of redox reaction and in that the classification of redox reaction can be given in the form of intermolecular redox reaction and what is intermolecular redox reaction let us study about this so it is the reaction in which one molecule is oxidized and other molecule is reduced this is a common oxidation uh, and reduction process that we do in redox reaction but it is very important to understand that the oxidation number of a one atom can be changed in the product while the same reactant of uh, well same atom of the element which is present in the reactant can also be changed in the product of the oxidation number this uh, sorry it is very important to know that the oxidation number changes from lower to higher as well as from higher to lower but when it comes to molecules that one molecule will change its oxidation number in the product while the other atom which is present in the molecular form will change the oxidation number and will turn into a product so this kind of reaction in which the two molecules of the reacted species are been changing their oxidation number is known as intermolecular oxidation number oxidation reaction so let me give a short example by giving this thing in a reaction where it says that 5 moles of ki that is potassium iodide is treated with kio3 plus 6 times of hcl gives you 3i2 the 6 times of kcl plus h2o in this thing the thing which is matter is basically iodine which is changing from one oxidation state and the other molecule of the reactant which is also consisting of the element of uh, iodine in the atomic form of i is being changing into another oxidation number but this kind of reaction we have did earlier also in compropositionation reaction so let us study that how the redox reaction changes suppose if i have consider the redox reaction in this case if potassium iodide is been considered then the oxidation number of iodine can be written as minus 1 because the oxidation number of potassium is plus 1 but when it comes to kio3 then the oxidation number can be written as k into 1 plus 1 into iodine plus 3 into oxygen which gives an overall charge of 0 therefore k which has an oxidation number of 1 plus iodine that we don't know right now and for oxygen it is 3 into minus 2 which is equals to 0 therefore x is equals to 6 minus 1 which means 5 so while in case of the product i have got i2 so for i2 the oxidation number of iodine will be 0 so in the whole reaction the oxidation number of uh, the iodine changes from Ki plus KiO3, and I have written as I2. In this case, I have not balanced the overall reaction. I am just giving a glance that iodine, which has an oxidation number of minus one in Ki, and iodine, which has oxidation number of plus five that we have observed in KiO3, and oxidation number of I2 is been. converting into zero so this kind of reaction that we have earlier did is now been classified as intermolecular oxidation reaction why because this two molecules are been changing the oxidation number present in the reactant side or are present in a reactant form so therefore this minus 1 is been converting into zero that means it has been lost electrons so therefore this is oxidation and this plus 5 has been gained electron to convert into an oxidation number of zero so therefore this kind of reaction is known as intermolecular reaction so thank you friends for watching this video and i hope you have liked the video and you have understood what is intermolecular redox reaction
So share this with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to e channel. Thank you.